just for my people. I have 22 to 25 people employed here at, mo at all times um, on the payroll. I consider those people family as well as their extended families. Thousands of restaurants across the state have shut their doors for dine-in service, but not Big Boy in Sandusky. Co-owner Troy Tank says he couldn't shut the doors because of his employees. The Sanilac County Health Department issued a cease and desist order on Friday that comes with a $2,000 fine. I wouldn't really necessarily call them empty threats at this point, but scare tactics for sure. Um, and then, like I said, at this point, the, the fines and the numbers that they're talking um, really don't scare us. Tank says they're lawyering up and they're going to see what judgments hold up in court. He says that this was not a political move or something to get attention. He says there's just no help for small businesses at this time and they're doing what they can to stay afloat. We're not a bunch of rabble rousers. We're not a bunch of people that are just out there to look and to defy, defy government and just to um, throw rules and regulations and things into the wind. Um, we're not conspiracy theorists. We're not any of those labels that I've been called the last 48 hours. It hasn't gone unnoticed. Tank says there are people driving hours away just to come and dine in at his restaurant, but he also has gotten death threats and people calling him a murderer. He disagrees, and he says that he's not pressuring anyone to come in and eat. Then, then just to stay home. Um, we're not begging people to come to our restaurant. We're not giving any kind of special deals or promotions. In Sandusky, Rachel McCrary, WNEM TV5.